because of COVID, and because of the need to social distance, I'm going to, I shall extend my hand that way. And all of you will also extend your hands as we pray for this young man. I do not know whether it is right to ask a few ministers to come here. Uh, you, you, make, you make sure you keep your distance. But we want to. We will send the young man right here in the middle.
But you, sovereign Lord, are our Father all over. We strengthen this truth. Because this is a generation. We speak life into them. We speak abundant life into their hands. We speak the anointing of the next generation into their hands. We declare that they will be unstoppable when they start. That when they rise up, no enemy will be able to rise up against them. Because their rising up is your rising up. Because it is written, Oh God, rise so that your enemies may also scatter. Scatter all enemies now. Establish this woman. Establish this young man. Establish this young woman. Establish that young woman. We send God's blessing wherever she is. And we anoint these children for the future. Today, let every tear dry. Every worry and anxiety go away. We speak to the spirit of high blood pressure. And we say, Enough. You have stolen. You have taken. Declare that these children will be safe and sound. And we set aside this young man to study the life of his father and to know the vision of his father and extend it to the next generation. His father has done enough of his work. He has run the race. Fulfill his purpose. Now we declare that the next phase will be fulfilled by this young man. As he takes on the realm of leadership, we speak into his life that this is only foundation. This is only foundation. Liberty is just a beginning. This is just a stepping stone. We speak to the sky. Open up for this world. We speak to the finances of the world. Open up for this world. We speak to the east and west. Open the doors of prosperity for this gentleman. Let this young man walk in excellence and abundance and breakthrough. And we set him in the place of his father so that no vision falls to the ground. It has been said, we are farming to Chinuesa, his place. In Jesus' name. Okay. I saw you standing together already. I'm the only one that doesn't need to come in. But you can check hands with your sister. Solo. Check hands with your sister and wave to the people. Stand up. Stand up. Shaking you the hand of your sister and then your other sister. And you will feel your sister in the Come on. Good. You made the listen. The things of God are never measured by the standards of men. God allowed you. Experience love. Both from him and from the man you love. You want to pray for you that God will step in. When a man is in a place of 
crisis. It's a big problem. But when a man or a woman rises from ashes, that is a record nobody can take away. You have never moved in an anointing as one that you are about to just jump in. And I'll tell you what. Do you have a story of Lazarus after death? Do you have a story about this young man who was raised as he was going to be married? You don't. Don't we not to remind you of your mass? What you have is a story of Job. The pain in your heart. The bitterness in your spirit against the devil. Against the devil. And what is that thing? God is going to turn it around and make it an axe in your hand. And you will see many more souls come to the kingdom in this next generation that you are going to I have been praying for you for the last three days. And I know a new woman rises from you. You please need that. So look for them number one.
You may be seated. Um, Such a time as this will you really speak. Kuanga Mogutufu Ngomo Sate Sifetuli no Kubeda one, Yandiba de Tong, Nafetuli one on the Tong, Yayukeda. Mazate, Mazate see as simple one. As parents wouldn't have been here. It's all supposed to be Tong. Pastor Tong, Munaso to meet a Tong, because Pastor Tong, Pastor Tong. Is the son to us? Yeah, whatever I got a message. I was very far at the farm. Never they were organizing the so easy. I had not organized the so so easy as what we are going on today. Kwanga, we can 
Catizabo, but a message was sent internet here you were fitted Because the message was sent on internet there, they are not there. The network is full. The network is very bad. We call her email and number. We call her email and number. Okola is just being a sitting bloody in the salvation. People know us by email and number. She called the office. She tried to call me, she couldn't get through. She called the office. We have been an appointment office in the town. Messaging her number. That is not okay. The one who bought it 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 is not okay. To call her back, I was planning to drive back because it takes three and a half hours. We passed the now that was my daddy again. But daddy is gone. Of course, for me, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. It was difficult for me. Most of the people, there are people who rush. But this is what like Dr. Sivada was saying. You have to ask yourself, establish yourself. What are you going to tell the people? How are you going to explain to them? You end up with the is expecting a solace, a word of strength. What are you going to tell that person? So, sometimes, prayer and silence is much more until you hear from God. So, I called my big brother, Pastor Sewarda. What's happening? I was returning his phone. He had called me no and I had returned his phone, but yes, because I was in the village. So, then we talk. Bishop Reddy, uh, he sends his condolences. Bishop Reddy, I hear, I see this on Saturday week. Um, about Nanda, brothers, not only that, but also I had a Beatrice also went to be with the Lord. Hey, hey, Beatrice, uh, She's a lawyer of this ministry. She passed. So, Mosumba, in the middle of the where Pastor Lord is, I want us to pray for her. The biggest that you had associated with, and you had another, and another, and another, and another, and another, to love her, to immediately to stand with her. Dr. Tom, happy to know Pastor Tom or Dr. Tom. I saw him after the wedding. My daughter, Yalina Mukura, they were cancer. As a family, we relocated. The family that we know before for her treatment as to the lady of Jajamina. And when we reached there, we tried to Ayo. That's when Dr. Sabada Nabamuara Wangi emailed her Namu and Julia. Dr. Sabada stole my daughter away and then introduced her to Dr. Kula. Musabide nyo Dr. Sabada Amanyoku baby into the country. Because at the time they were stealing my things. So, we saw that I was involved in certain issues. I was out of the country. Then he took away my daughter, Emelda. He gave her to Tom. When they introduced her at his home, 
Never more it is on that Tayang Pako Yad. Never give, it, give me a single. Yad Dengu Kuwait. Give it one. Nala Nabi Fana Nyi. I just saw the pictures. So I didn't come out. That I get back. Nere Tom. But Tom. Was such a gentleman. I read him such a gentleman. What is such a... A real man. Musab Yawaisi Mwada. Nanja. He came. He was an individual to you. He came with a signal. He was going to talk to the girl you were to They said, we kept something for you. Kumbaka. At our wedding. And he was a But others. Apostle Dr. Sarada Yabiri. Apostle Dr. Sarada Ebbe. Ogonchabu was a... I'm still considering that case. <laughs> that is a little bit bored for you to help me settle that case. Over there lies a, a God's general. What do we do? We are going to be dead by God. The man of God. Many of us will remember when Pastor Emeruda got married, they were still at Mfudu. This, this place was not here. They combined the anointings. The anointing of support. Of leading from behind. And supported the woman of God. And here we are. We can see this wonderful his fingerprint is everywhere. He was such a good man that he was willing to let his wife shine. Tom was bigger in size. So he could be seen anywhere. But he never dominated. He never threw his weight around. He saw us a ministry of Jesus, of a servant leader, that you can serve, you can support, you can encourage, and all of you can rise. He has been such an example in ministry. And this ministry picked up a color or a, a character like of Joyce Mine. Whereby the husband of the men are willing to carry the bag of the wife. And they honor the anointing. Somebody need to clap your hands. He could go and organize crusades. He could go and organize the people. He could call you. You say we are coming. And this is not lightly. The body of Christ, like Dr. Sarada has said, I said we have lost. For sure we have lost. Before I give you the message God gave me, it's a very brief message. I just want to, to encourage each one of us as a country, as a nation, as a people. Yes, we are at war. I ask you to be seated, please. Thank you. The first one was agreed upon when Robert Kayanja, tenure pastor of the Rebel Center, and I spoke. It's so hard, but it has been a Zaku, long small blue, and miracle center. So, Robert Kayanja, with my business, and I said, and we also called Mr. Kruwele.
era etukubira munna bilizilu ensi but we are great the two kids that pastor robert would speak the word here and minister each one ndi omusumba robert kayanja agenda kuli de chigambo wano abweleze kuli pita my other assignment so I'm going to do that. I'm going to invite Robert to come here very soon. My next assignment is to commit Tom Moore to his resting place. After many other things. The assignment that has just been given to me here is to pray for Tom's success. Oh, I've just come up here just to do that. Uh, but that when Robert ministers, he, he will have that success in mind as he speaks. And let me, now that I have an opportunity to be here, let me use a few minutes to tell you how I come to be here. I came to be here in 
Tom asked me, Tom Nazava, to say yes so that he can get married to me. I've told this story over and over again on media everywhere. That's how Tom became part of me. Tom, what we have reached to Mumuzi. He made a narrative who was introduced, or oh, sorry, introduced a heart sweeter in my home. We invited the families of Musuju and Utamala to come to us. And we welcome Tom to our home. And he became a son. Two days ago, I had uh, a problem with news reporters. They want a comment. And I said, oh, what? Do you want me to talk about how I lost the son in law? Am I the one that is supposed to make that comment? It came out of there. If there is any reporter here that I mishandled, that's where it comes from. I just refused to talk to them. Tom was my son in law. A prized son. Full of wisdom. Humble. Quiet. A calculator. A high thinker. Tom exhibited knowledge which is controlled. When I met Tom the first time, I asked that hotel where he bought me coffee and tea. When I seek at a tomb of Rudy Gasso and Motel, we have been a child. I asked him, Namuza, do you know a man, Maniyom Saja, that I met many years um, at Makere Redeemed Church? When I seek at a Yaka meeting by the Makere Redeemed Church, his name is Jerome Urukenzi. Erinya never meet a Jerome Urukenzi. Do you know him? That was all my name, Mani. I said, there is a man that you resemble. But you know, I know his sons. They don't look like you, but you look like him. But I said, no, I don't know you. And then he told me about his family. And he told me about his dad and mom. The rest is now busy. Family, we want to thank you for allowing this church to honor their pastor. You could have taken this body to Bunyoro, Family but you, you have done something very special to us. You allowed us as a church to honor our own hero. So thank you very much. Very honorable. And as you have this family, they, they are well to do that. They have all the wherewithal, they can do anything. They allowed us to rest Tom here so that that memory does not go out of the Thank you for honoring your vows. Wherever they to love, Wagala. to honor, Sandwich to cherish, and not to part until death comes in. Thank you. Thank you. This is how it is supposed to be. Painful. Painful. 
but separation should happen only in death. And Friday, the other Friday, Tom preached in our church. Because we preach on television and radio the lunch hour service. And they alternate between themselves, between the men and they would alternate. So, as I walked out of the studio, studio, I noticed that Tom was going to preach. I actually asked one of my handlers and I said, Who is going to preach? And it was clear that Tom was going to preach. So I told my driver, We leave 25 minutes away. We leave, we leave 25 minutes away. No, no, no. We stay. Where we leave is 25 minutes from where the church is. And I said, I'm going to allow you to drive faster. I don't want to listen to talk in the head. I, I, if you listen to him and you don't really take time, you don't get it. Because he, he used to teach stuff that the body of Christ needed to heal. Kingdom of God. How to live in the kingdom. Righteousness and the holiness and the power of God. The things that make for Christian living. The teacher that was in the was a blessing to the body of Christ and nobody knew about it. So I said, drive me fast because I need to sit down and listen to him because you can only, if you concentrate, you get what We got home and he had started about five minutes. I didn't miss much on the introduction. But halfway through the summer, he stepped backward and sat down with his interpreter. I had never seen him. And he wasn't speaking from his natural stamina and strength and vigor. So he sits down and he loves a point in his song. And somehow I got lost in writing notes. And when I came back and started watching it. A lady was reading scripture. And Tom was leaning 